Some breaking news out of New York State now. Just a few moments ago, Governor Kathy Hochul wrapped up a virtual address to the public. This is on her first day in office after she was sworn in at midnight in a special ceremony. Uh, joining me now for more on this is Bernadette Hogan, the Albany bureau chief at the New York Post. Uh, Bernadette, this is the beginning, obviously, of a new era in New York State. Talk a little bit about what the new governor, Kathy Hochul, is doing now to try to to move on from the Cuomo era and that, that toxic work environment that we've heard so much about as of late. Right. Well, one thing that the new governor, Kathy Hochul, said that she wants to do is really increase transparency in government. And that's a big priority for her because one of the key tenants, or not key tenants, but rather the Cuomo administration was one of the biggest problems they had was getting out information and sharing that with the public. Another thing that she is prioritizing is getting excitement back with state workers and the value of employees in state government. As we all know, the governor resigned. It was effective at midnight um, or early this morning. And he resigned in disgrace because of a bombshell report released by the state attorney general that listed a toxin work, toxic work environment, allegations of sexual harassment against him by several former and current employees. And that's something that the new governor wants to change. She wants to instill this message of hope and also um, just, again, confidence in, in state government and, and workers. And COVID is going to be her biggest responsibility here out of the gate. How prepared does the governor's office feel it is to, to lead the response now to this pandemic in New York 17 months into this? Right. Well, that's another big priority for her. She said combating the Delta variant is a massive priority. She is trying to figure out um, mass mandates, especially con concerning schools and the upcoming school year, as well as what to do about increasing the state's vaccination rate. Um, that's, there's, she has a lot on her plate, a lot of challenges going forward for the new governor, but it's something that she says she's up to the task. As a lieutenant governor, she traveled all across the state, from Buffalo to Albany to New York City, oftentimes having six or seven appearances in one day. So she really has been boots on the ground over the weekend, even with storm response. She was on Long Island. And it's something that she, she says she's prepared to do. And we will see the next 45 days is really going to be a tell for her, considering that's kind of been her blanket, um, her, 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 her launch pad, I suppose, for cleaning up state government, as she says, and, and charting a path forward. I do want to ask before I let you go about uh, Governor Cuomo's, the former Governor Cuomo's close aide, Melissa DeRosa, said that, that Cuomo has, quote, no interest in running for office again. We know that he left, that, uh, he left office with $18 million in, in his campaign account. Are we going to see Andrew Cuomo run for office again? Well, like you said, his top aide said he has no interest in running for governor. However, he's 63 years old. He, he comes from a background in politics. He could change his mind. There's, he hasn't said whether or not he wants to run or not. And of course, it's still fresh. He's only been out of office a couple hours. But he still has, he still has, as Melissa said, many options that he could explore. Um, but it remains to be seen. He has to, we have to figure out where he's going to be living. I mean, he's at his sister's house in Westchester at the moment. And that, that's where he's keeping his things and what, what, what his future steps will be closely watched. All right, Bernadette Hogan of the New York Post with us today. Bernadette, thank you.